Hi again everybody, Boyd here with you. This video is an introduction to our Model Shop Community Halloween group build that we're doing for 2017. We announced the kickoff of that about a week or so ago. We have all the way until October 28th to get our model kits done. So we're just throwing this video up on the channel to invite anybody else out there that wants to join in. Just grab yourself a little uh, Halloween themed kit and uh, join in our little group build. We're posting pictures of our progress and everything over at the Model Shop Community page on Google Plus and then uh, on the 28th I'll be doing a live broadcast show on the regular uh, model shop show and I'll be showing all uh, the kits uh, that are finished up at that time with a little slideshow that we'll put together so you'll get your kit featured on there and so it'll be a lot of fun here are the three kits that I'm going to be working on I've already been started on one of them the uh, Jolly Roger hex marks the spot there on the far right I've made some pretty good progress and got that one done and I'm going to show you a little uh, slideshow here really quick uh, of the model going together and then we'll show you that finished model. Then up next I'm going to work on that uh, War of the Worlds Martian kit from Pegasus Models and then we'll finish up as we get closer to Halloween with the Strange Change Vampire. That's a really cool kit that they brought back to the uh, Jolly Roger kit and the Vampire kit are old school kits from the old Fun Dimensions company that doesn't even exist anymore. They repop these kits and uh, they were favorites of mine when I was a kid. They also have the Strange Change Mummy and uh, the Time Machine in that series and then uh, the Hex Marks the Spot kit is uh, an original uh, Pirates of the Caribbean kit that they brought back. It was originally called the Dead Man's Raft and the word on the uh, around the forums and everything is is that they're going to bring back that entire series of uh, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean kit so that'll be really fun. I'll look forward to picking up all those and building them. They're just really really fun kits to work on and this kit here was the, the hardest one to get back then and it's uh, got a lot of detail and everything on it so I had a lot of fun putting it together and uh, doing the paint detailing and some lighting and sound effects. So there you go. Like I said, I hope you guys will join in. It's going to be a lot of fun. We had an awesome turnout last year, and the you know the year before that we had a great turnout. It keeps get, getting bigger every year. So really looking forward to see what people come up with this year. It's always really fun to see all the ideas and creativity that go into that. And a lot of people go all out for the Halloween build, so it should be awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, pause real quick. We'll come back and we'll have the. Uh, slideshow real quick of the Jolly Roger kit being worked on and then uh, we'll show you the model how it's all finished up with the uh, lighting and sound effects and then uh, we'll talk about working on the uh, War of the Worlds Martian kit next after that. Be right back. Well, here's a look at the first kit that I've been working on. This is the Hex Marks the Spot kit. And you can see that I got it all finished up here and I've uh, mounted it on this uh, nice little base. Another base that I picked up over at Hobby Lobby. It's uh, really cool because it's got that distressed old looking wood feature already done on it. So I didn't have to do anything with that. Just uh, figure out a way to mount everything onto it. I put the little uh, pirate doubloon there that comes with this kit on the front of it. Just to add a little detail on there. And I think that looks pretty cool. But uh, this is a really, really fun kit to work on. I had a blast on this. I lit up the uh, lantern there with a flickering LED. It's actually supposed to be mounted on, you know, hanging off the mast back there. But I wanted to bring it more up front where you could see it better and help light everything up a little bit better in low light. I had to cut the rope off of it and reshape it a little bit and reattach it on there to make it look right. But that wasn't too hard to do. But I just love all the uh, detail you get with this kit. You know, that, that old looking cannon with all the moss and corrosion all over it and the ship's wheel it's uh 
got a lot of detail on it when you really start looking at it close you know you've got that brass ring that goes around it and that's all broken up and everything and so I put quite a bit of detail into that had a lot of fun doing all the uh, wood textures and everything on this and then some cannonballs and some block and tackle some extra skeleton parts and uh, I tried to make this look like it was done in several different kinds of wood you know I tried to make the front cabinet here look more you know fancy like it was maybe made out of some higher grade of wood but it's just gotten old and everything than the, than the deck planking was and uh, they give you all these decals for the map and the little insets here in the wood grain detail and the detail on the ship's wheel and everything so even the bandana there on the uh, our pirate uh, captain there so just a really awesome little kit and um, I actually went ahead and ordered another one of these just to keep it in my stash for later on you know they brought these kits back after 35 years so I'm just gonna kinda hang on to one now they were really expensive in the original form if you found them on eBay here's our pirate's flag looking pretty distressed there and everything but uh, I went into this and uh, did some sound effects along with my lights I uh, back here just behind the chest you can see I've got uh, two little uh, pieces of wood that I made and just had them sticking up there because I've mounted a couple of SMDs there that kind of shine up on this whole back part here so I got some thunder and lightning effects you know like they're at a storm out at sea and I wanted to be able to light up the uh, area there and it didn't work too well when I was just broadcasting the light from the floor so I raised them up a little bit and that worked out but one of the cool features this kit has too is this little action you got this uh, extra pirate guy that's kind of tucked away inside this little chest here I threw a few bones and stuff in there but you push this little button on the back and uh, <laughs> he pops up and stabs the map you know like kind of marking the spot hex marks the spots the title to this kit and that's just a really neat little feature you know I always with him raising his hand there it's kind of like oh pick me Mr. Cotter you know you know, welcome back Cotter TV show but uh, it's it's pretty cool and uh, I really like all the extra little things that they put into this kit like I said and it's a cheap kit you know you can get it for less than 20 bucks so um, not bad at all and uh, just a whole ton of fun to work on it and you can put so many of your own ideas into this and so many different ways you can paint it and everything it's just really really a cool little kit I'm going to uh, come back here in just a second we'll turn the lights down low and I'll show you the uh, sound effects and the lighting that I've put into this we'll be right back with that alright I got the lights turned down low here so let's check out the uh, lighting and sound effects that I put into this little kit here we go
Okay, there you go, everybody. That's the sound effects that I put in. Some of you uh, people might uh, recognize that part of that soundtrack is from the original uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland and Disney World from back in the 60s and 70s. I actually found part of that soundtrack online and used it. I just thought it'd be cool to pay a little uh, tribute to that. So uh, a lot of fun working on this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again here in a little while, and we're going to show you the uh, next kit we're working on. We're going to work on the... Uh, Martian from the War of the Worlds next. I'm looking forward to that one too and then we'll finish up after that with the uh, Strange Change Vampire when we get a little bit closer to Halloween. So uh, until then everybody take care out there and we'll see you later. Happy modeling everyone.